Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're going to talk about a really weird Magic the Gathering rule and the moment that created that rule's change. Now there's a land called Dryad Arbor. There's also a creature called Dryad Arbor. They're the same card. Dryad Arbor is a really special card because while Magic the Gathering has a bunch of different lands that can become creatures and also be lands, uh, Dryad Arbor is always a creature. It is a forest and it is a 1-1 Dryad always. And so before this rules change, you could play your Dryad Arbor alongside your lands, you could play it alongside your creatures. There wasn't really any definitive place to play Dryad Arbor. But something happened at a Grand Prix. Let's, let's watch the clip and let's talk about what's happening and what happened in the Magic the Gathering rules because of this clip. So this was at Grand Prix Lyon at 5-0 between Gabriel Nassif and Thomas Langlotz. Now, Thomas is playing Boggles, which we suit up one creature. So this is one creature with a bunch of enchantments on it. And what is going on here is Gabriel Nassif is going to attack with creatures that can't be blocked by this boggle. He's going to attack this. This is a creature with menace um, underneath it that gets power when you discard cards. And then he's going to bring back a phoenix and attack with two creatures with flying. And jam in, thinking that his opponent cannot block because the creature has menace and the creatures have flying. And, you know, he only opponent only has one creature. However, there is an alternate art for Dryad Arbor that literally looks like a forest that you can see on the right here. And Thomas has that Dryad Arbor alongside his lands, and it's really difficult to tell that this is Dryad Arbor and not just a normal basic forest from across the table. And so Gabriel Nassif, one of the best players in the world, is going to make a really horrible mistake. Let's watch this together. So important here. Yep, so he's bringing back the Phoenix. And swing with just those guys. Yep. So they um, jam in. So I don't think he sees the dried arbor here. Yeah. It's dried no, arbor. Like block. And then <laughs> and I see the I see the hat, the famous yellow Poor hat. Poor Gabriel Nassif uh, takes Nassif the dried arbor is, and just stares. Hasn't at seen it. it. He really hasn't. Yeah, I mean that yellow hat has traveled the world with Gabriel Nassif. It, for a long while, it was his nickname on the Pro Tour because he was it was so ubiquitous that you could you could find him in the room very very easily back in the days when he was showing up at uh, PTQs, uh, Pro Tour qualifiers, and ultimately so conceding sad. the finals because he wasn't allowed to go and play on the Pro Tour because <laughs> he was too young. But ultimately, he did make it out there in his yellow hat. But right now, incredulously checks out this Dryad Arbor. Yeah, so this is uh, because of the art on this one compared to the one from Future Side. This, this one is less apparent that it is actually a creature. And the way Thomas played, he just put it alongside his land and it does look like a regular forest. So I think uh, Gabriel decided to call a judge and just explain to him that like, I didn't, I really didn't see that this was a creature. The art is misleading. And uh, we'll, we'll probably have to have a, a judge ruling on, on this one. Yeah, it's a bit of an unusual situation. Of course, the Future Sight version of Dryad Arbor, very, very clearly an unusual card. Uh, this one, much closer to simply looking like a forest. Yeah, and uh, I know a lot of people have been talking about this, uh, have talked about this in the past, that it, it is actually deceiving to, to play a card like this. Uh, because it really doesn't really stand out. It's a, it's a foil land, basic foil forest, and the the text box is just the uh, the power toughness is just so small, uh, you can't really see it. But I think Gabriel and Steve decided to like, yeah, okay, uh, I should have probably paid more attention. So what happened there was Gabriel and Steve attacked, and his opponent double blocked the creature with menace, which was a total blowout in this situation. And the judge ruled that like. His opponent did not purposely misrepresent the game state. You could clearly see the Dryad Arbor on the battlefield, and there was no rule that it had to be played alongside the creatures or played alongside the lands. And so Gabriel Nassif at 5-0 and loses a game because of that. And so after this incredible blowout by one of the best Magic the Gathering players in the world on camera, they changed the rules. You, there's a special Magic the Gathering rule for this one card that if it's a creature, it has to be played alongside your creatures. So you can no longer hide the land, to be fair, Dryad Arbor along with your lands. You have to play it alongside your creatures at competitive events.
And it's mostly because of this, like, one special printing of Dryad Arbor that for some reason they felt like it was a good idea to make look exactly like a forest. So keep that in mind if you play Dryad Arbor in your decks. It's not played a lot anymore in, in Modern, but it's still played pretty heavily in Legacy and, like, Elves and whatnot. Used mostly as a ramp option in Green Sun Zenith decks. Poor Gabriel Nassif. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. It was, it was quite a few years ago, but I, I still feel bad. Um, if you like this video and want more interesting magic moments like this, please like and subscribe. Check me out on social medias. Links are above me and in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.